an Academy Award for a role well played. Have letter number 5907. January 26, 2017. You have no idea of what it means to me to love you, my child, my one child, who appears in many forms. The forms you appear in are like old clothes hanging up in a closet. At one time, these clothes were precious to you. Now their value to you may well have faded. This is the way of the world. The world enchants you today. Your remembered thought cannot substitute for the actuality it once represented. You may remember a beautiful blue taffeta print dress from 40 years ago. The blue taffeta was a treasure at the time. Now the representative treasure was given away long ago you know not where. All it is now is just another thought reconstituted. Even if the once dream of a dress were to somehow reappear, the glow it once had is gone, and it has become just a dress. You may remember occasions in your children's lives from when they were little. You cannot return to the days of those long-ago photographs. Your once young children may have wisps of grey in their hair now. Yet all of these recollections are only recollections. Not one remembered thought is reality now. In fact, even when these remembered thoughts were happening, that wasn't reality then either. The love was the only reality then as now. What you come to realize with certainty is that reality cuts deeper than what you observe in the world. The world serves greater purpose, yet the world is considered reality. What is called reality in the world had the appearance of reality, yet, like the dress stored in the closet, it is no more than a snapshot of what was never really real anyway. Infinity is real. Infinity is whole. Infinity is reality. Wardrobe is not. The life you see presented before you is a brief thought you imagine you are living. Reality reaches further than a moment. In infinity, there is no heaviness. Infinity is real. All the dramatization is nothing but theatrics. Oh, my, how real seeming the drama seem to be. You could swear you are submerged in reality and are going through it. You could swear you are suffering, or you are being rewarded, yet reality has a different ambiance. True reality is as light as air and it is as brilliant as the sun. Nevertheless, you are dancing on the stage of life, a great actor on a great stage. Or, you are painting a portrait of what life might look like, this great production you have often dressed up for. Put away the props, the costumes, all the rigmarole. Underneath lies the reality of perceived drama. Beyond the represented dramatization lies more beauty than you can imagine. The supposed reality of life is hype that you bought. You enact a dream from which you will awaken. All the while you see the dream as true. You take part in a movie that goes on and on. What an actor you are. You deserve an Academy Award. You don't just play a part. You think you really are the part, and you think all the bit players are as real as you. You pull the wool over everybody's eyes. Of course. You play the part with all your heart and soul, so you think. When you do wake up, which, of course, you will, you will laugh at what you thought life was. How could you have looked at a rose and thought it was withering and no more? How could you think you are a player on the stage when you are very existence itself? You have some great great realizations coming. You are eager and ready to dive into the fulsome waters, and you will leap up as a knower of reality. You will live in sync with me. Your individual identity will go off stage, and you will be immersed in true reality once and for all. Channeled by Gloria Wendroff. HeavenLetters.org